Alright guys, so here we are in another Home Depot location. This one is number six. So we're starting off in this garden center. This was an interesting location because as you can see, you have a nice view of a plane coming in. Don't worry guys, I'll list a flight in case you're interesting right there. But we're going to start off. So there are some fans we got to cover as well as some underground speakers. So let's start this side. So of course, uh, most of these Home Depots, they have the Marley Industrial Wall fans here. There's a set of two right here. The layout of this garden center is quite interesting. It, it, it's a very big one too. Like, I don't know what this used to be, but uh, it's a very huge store. So there's your Marley fan right there. Zoom in on the logo real quick for you guys to see. Um, says Marley Industrial. Probably you could probably read it right there. But yeah, not long ago, Home Depot started installing these. I didn't even think Marley was making industrial f uh, wall fans. I I always thought they only made ceiling fans. But yeah, this place is very huge. And we hear another flight coming in. That's an Embraer. Your J170. The flight will be listed down in the video. So here is our first horn speaker. This one's a, uh, I don't know, I believe it's a Harvest Page Pack. Uh, or maybe a Lucent not sure uh, because there are some of these page pack horns that are uh, are under the Lucent brand as well I happen to have one of those and I'm impressed that these haven't fallen off because these are very heavy uh, this one that lost all of its paint this was supposed to be a dark gray but because of outdoors the you know the temperature or the type of weather um, it lost all of its paint uh, but yeah, this one I think it's a newer version because it, it's not um, it's not the older style one, and I think you could see the outline of the badge right there. So we're going to cover those ceiling fans inside in there, but uh, there are two of these um, Lucent Harris Page Pack horns. The other one is around here somewhere, and I see it right right about there. Uh, not sure how long it's been since they were last in use. This one is painted, of course. Uh, so maybe an indication of this Home Depot was opened in the mid '90s. But yeah, this garden center is very spacious. So pretty much what replaces these two horns, this one and that one over there, um, are a bunch of box speakers. And these are insanely loud. I believe these are also Harris or perhaps the Qualm um, System 1s. They have a really good sound to them as well. And they're very crystal clear too. So I'm assuming this Home Depot um, set their amplifiers to the correct levels. Here is another one. There's an announcement play right now. Let's take a listen. Sounds really good. Alright, let's get into the the actual garden center inside. Now let's take a look. So here's another one of these um, Qualm System 1s. Yeah, I believe this one's the System 1. So we are taking a look at this area here um, full of these Hampton Bay silly fans. This one's out of balance. It's wobbling a lot. 
Um, it's just a camera canceling it out. This one's off. That one's off. These two are off. Some of the blades on the some of these fans are starting to sag. Like that one over there. That one has the saggy blades there. This one's functioning. More of these Harris box speakers. Or I'm not sure. And there is a here is an exhaust fan. This one's huge. Right there. I don't know if this was ever operated. I guess it might be in the summer. Just a matter of fact, just to find out. So let's just take a look at the Steely Fan display later on. But yeah, there's a ton of these here. So here's uh, your display. This one's an overhead. Some of these fans are quite interesting. I'm not sure what this one is. This one doesn't have a tag. This one is... This one's very fancy. It's like they use high velocity fan plates for this one. It's an LED lighting though. Huh. Actually, I don't think these are metal. I think these might be plastic. I don't know. This one is also an interesting looking one. There's your scenic brush nickel up there. The classic type. So a lot of these are starting to pop up a lot more. That's what I just noticed. This one I believe is a... This was a Hunter and Taro. Uh, Wellston 2. Home Decorator's Palm Cove. Then there's that one. That one's a Glendale model. Then there's these. So a bunch of these are hybrids of older style fans with the newer style. Like they try to copy that one. This is a really nice looking hunter here. This one's a Channing brush nickel. This was a Southwind second. Rothley. I believe Hunter. Uh, these ones really resemble those hunters from back then. There's like this one specific model. It was a white in color, and I believe the motor design kind of resembled this one, but it didn't have a lampshade or anything. Some of these really have that IKEA-esque scent to it. I don't think I've ever seen that one back there. I don't know what that one is. But I that one's new compared to the other one with the uh, this I think I never I'm I've seen that one before, but I never seen this one here. This one has an interesting lighting design. So let's check out the rest of the store, but I don't think there's any ceiling fans here. Uh, and it's mainly due to the profile of the height of the ceiling to the shelves. So I guess the, um, this is probably one of those that doesn't have the Marley industrial ceiling fans. So I think I might end off the video right here. Uh, just uh, starring this qualm system one speaker so that'll be it that is the industrial or actually the ceiling fan and intercom speaker tour at home depot number six thanks for watching